Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. Pretty impressive around here today. No lightning, no hail, no snow. No kidding, just a beautiful day. You can see that new snow still sticking around on top of America's mountain off the distance. We've got sunshine from Northgate all the way south to the World Arena, 75 degrees right now. Live look on the north side of Pueblo, I-25 off in the distance. It's 82 degrees, just a light breeze out of the east right now at 6 miles per hour. How about a live look from Woodland Park? You can see some of that snow on the north face of America's mountain. Light breeze out of the northeast there, just six miles per hour. All right, here's what's going to happen across our area. A few high thin clouds off the distance, but uh, no weather problems, no big weather makers coming our way here for the rest of the night tonight into tomorrow. We're going to see a little bit of a change though tomorrow afternoon. We'll start with sunshine, then a disturbance is going to move through. There it is right there. That disturbance could trigger some thunderstorm activity tomorrow evening, tomorrow night into early Thursday morning. Got those thunderstorms in your forecast. We'll break that down for you hour by hour. Tomorrow Tomorrow morning again, just beautiful around here by mid to late afternoon. You'll start to see a few clouds start to build and then by eight, nine o'clock tomorrow evening, I think we'll start to see a few showers. Thunderstorms develop over some of the higher elevations. They'll eventually push across the I-25 corridor. That's late tomorrow night. That continues through early Thursday morning by 3, 4 a.m. We'll start to see dry skies here along the I-25 corridor. Here's your big weather story. Next weather maker is a big ridge of high pressure. That thing is going to be large and in charge around here over the weekend. What that'll do is bring in some hot weather temperatures into the 90s across parts of the News 5 viewing area. Just enough water trapped underneath that area of high pressure. Thunderstorms possible both Saturday and Sunday, especially across the Pikes Peak region and eastern Fremont County. Pueblo 84 degrees today doesn't get any better than that. In the springs we started cold at 40 this morning, took it back to a high today of 77 degrees. Outside right now it is nice out there and that's really an understatement. Current temperatures into the 70s and 80s across a good chunk of the News 5 viewing area. Across the USA, I wanted to show you this on the 5 o'clock show. Here it is right now. Current temperatures, that's looking like a late May map across the USA. Our low temperatures tonight, really comfortable. Partly cloudy skies tonight, dropping back into the upper 40s across Colorado Springs and Pueblo. Tomorrow, blue sky, sunshine, and dare I say tantalizing temperatures. Check it out for yourself. Yeah, it's hard to beat temperatures like that. 70s and 80s, always a bonus across the Rockies. Thursday, just an isolated thunderstorm possible. Then I've got greater chance of thunderstorms in your forecast starting Friday, Saturday into Sunday. And really that pattern continues into early next week. And yes, it's going to heat up upper 80s for highs both Saturday and Sunday across Colorado Springs. Tomorrow in Pueblo, it's the kind of weather that makes Colorado famous. Beautiful blue sky, mild mannered temperatures, passing thunderstorm possible tomorrow night. Cold front's going to push in slightly cooler air Thursday. Then the heat is on a steady diet of 90s from the weekend into early next week. A couple of passing PM thunderstorms possible by Saturday. And for Canyon City, Mother Nature really turns on the charm the next few days. Morning sun, then afternoon clouds with a thunderstorm or or two in the mix. That last week in May is going to be hot. Afternoon highs right at 90 degrees. And for Woodland Park, you get great moisture in that extended forecast. A daily chance of those afternoon showers and thunderstorms. As always, this time of the year, watch out for that dangerous cloud to ground lightning. That's it for now. Mike,